lesson covers the initial subject matter of the contemporary Philippine arts form from the region, which emphasize on contemporary art forms and practices from the regions and on various art forms. It is here to help you master the skills and topics on their various contemporary art forms. It also exhibits some art forms that can be found in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, as well as various indigenous materials used in creating some artwork. So, in different classification of art forms, we have three classifications. So, first is by the audience. So, focus on how audi audience classify arts. Under this, we have four. The performing arts. When we say performing arts, this are the example are plays, movies, live music, movies or TV show, opera, puppet show, dance, and ballet. So, ito yung... Kung ano yung nakikita mo na performing, when it comes to performing, so it is classified as performing arts. In visual arts naman, it exists in a two-dimensional form and stays in one place. Something that we see and hear. So, example of this are paintings kapag pumunta tayo sa museum. And um, we have visual art. When we say literature, narrative or works that are literary in nature and primarily deals with imaginative and artistic writing. Examples are prose and poetry. So, these are yung mga nakikita natin sa books like novel that is also a literature, that is also an, considered as an art. Then, the fourth one is the sculptural. So, these are three-dimensional that we can see, we can touch. And it stays in one place, like monuments. Okay? Then, um, example of this are also the architectural design, yung mga buildings. Okay? So, basta siya ay three-dimensional, like the Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty. That is also considered as art. Paano sila ginawa? Ano po? And then, even the flower gardens, water fountains, and buildings. Again, ano? So, again, by the audience, we have performing arts, visual art, literature, and sculpture. Then, by critics, focus on how people judge art. Ito naman yung kapag tinignan nila yun, and we, they criticize this, the art form na kung anong nakikita nila. Um, one of this is the major arts or fine arts. Those that include music, literature, sculpture, painting, dance, theater, photography, and architecture. So once they they see the the artwork, um, kini criticize na nila yon kung ano yung uh, message ng ng artwork, okay? Especially yung mga sumasali sa art contest. Ano? Next is minor arts or applied arts. Ito naman yung mga ceramics, 
your furniture, letterings, etc. So, tayo, or kayo, as a student, you can also critic artwork. Example, when you are buying, um, dun sa minor arts or applied arts, when you are buying a furniture for your house, example, for sa inyong future house, then you are criticizing the build of the furniture, di ba? Paano siya ginawa, ano yung materials na ginamit. So, we criticize the um, the product. Then, kapag naman fine arts, when we say kayo ay naging isang uh, critic ng isang painting or isang performing art, okay, ay uh, you criticize how does it work, paano siya ginawa, na ano yung ginamit niya na elements and principles of art, yon. Ganun po ang by critic. Me then, under the by critic, meron tayong pure art, created and performed for others, and for audience satisf satisfaction. Halimbawa ay watching a movie. So, when we are watching a movie, we automatically, di ba, tinitingnan natin na, ay, maganda yung ending, di ba? Or, or yung flow ng story, kini-criticize natin na, ay, yung boring naman nun. Ay, maganda naman yun. At saka, minsan, biti naman yung ending, magunang panoorin, di ba? Automatically, that is considered as criticizing an art. Kasi, um, a movie is also considered as an art. Next is practical art. It is with a purpose for practical use like chair and table. So, that is also considered katulad nung kaninang sinabi ko na when we choose what we will use in our daily life, that is considered as criticizing an art. Next is by artist. Characterized by physical and special sensing under this are sight art. So, example of this are painting, drawing, music, crafting, drafting, stage designing, and graphic designing. So, this is something that you can see, imagine, and create. So, kayo, by an artist kasi, tayo na yun. Tayo na yung gumagawa. Ano po? So, we, we use our own imagination and creativity how we, how we are going to make an art. Ano po? Then, sound art. Something that you can hear. Example, you, you, make an, a play for for a project you already making an art and, and the last is the touch art something that you can feel or touch example the sculpture carving woodcraft pottery and dance movement so you when you are interested in pottery ayan di pa naguhul mo eh, uh, example of this is also yung sa clay Modeling clay, di ba? There are times na meron kayong mga subject na nagbamodel ng volcano. Yan. That is also an art. Other classifications is real art. So, what you see is what you get. Objective and representational. Example, photography, stage play, dance, sculpture, and architecture. So, kung ano yung nakikita mo, yun yung real art. So, binahawakan mo siya. No. Kapag naman abstract art, non-subject matter, non-representational, but technique-focused and style-oriented. Um, when we say uh, abstract art, di ba? Sa unang tingin, kapag hindi mo alam, parang ano to, mong gulo-gulo nung art. Pero, when you focus your attention to it, there is something on inside of it. Ano? So, that is considered as an abstract art. Hindi yung guri-guri lang, basta guri-guri lang. Ano? It has also a representation. But still, it has a technique, focus, and style oriented. Yeah.